Hello, I am Dr. Thomas. I'm a pediatric hepatologist. I would like to share with you a clinical case that is quite rare. I met Lucas when he was one year old. Lucas had suggestive signs and symptoms of chronic cholestatic liver disease. Progressive jaundice, hepatomegaly, steatorrhea, and hemorrhage, but no apparent pruritus. The laboratory investigations revealed increased serum aminotransferases with conjugated hyperbilirubinemia, prolonged prothrombin time, but normal serum gamma glutamyl transferase activity. In addition, there was both statural and ponderal growth retardation and fat soluble vitamins deficiency. Ultrasound also confirmed liver damage. Lucas's clinical picture was not typical of common liver diseases and his condition continued to worsen despite the treatment. Lucas was two years old when planning a biopsy before a liver transplantation. I reviewed the case with my colleague Anna. She suggested that it could be a bile acid synthesis disorder. A deficiency of liver enzymes such as 3-beta-hydroxysteroid oxideroductase or delta-4-oxosteroid 5-beta-reductase which are involved in the synthesis of primary bile acids. To verify this hypothesis, we measured the serum total bile acids level which is normal in case of bile acid synthesis disorders. An analysis of urinary bile acids by mass spectrometry and a genetic test confirmed that Lucas was suffering from a deficiency of 3-beta-hydroxysteroid oxyduroductase. Because of the lack of this enzyme, hepatotoxic and cholestatic bile acid intermediates accumulate and cause liver damage. The absence of primary bile acids result in fat and fat-soluble vitamins malabsorption. In addition, the suppression of the negative feedback loop that represses the biosynthesis pathway further increases the production of these unusual metabolites. Finally, with the correct diagnosis for Lucas, we could start an appropriate treatment. Bile acid synthesis disorders must be suspected in the presence of a cholestasis with normal serum GGT activity without pruritus and associated with decreased or normal serum total bile acids level. If not identified early enough and if not treated, bile acid synthesis disorders can rapidly progress to liver cirrhosis or liver failure. As with Lucas, if you have similar unclear cases, remember bile acid synthesis disorders, it could be life-saving.